Hey guys, it's Woody Mark here coming with my brand new episode of Road to Holland Goals where I'm trying to get Mr. Main Man MVP Road 3 Gate 2 100 Goals. We are currently in Division 4, 4 wins out of 4, I do believe. And Rodrigo is on 80 goals. Now, funnily enough, after every episode, because I'm doing this once per week, because Rodrigo is doing so well, usually I'll do it like once every three days or once every um, two, three days kind of thing. But that that luck, just just that luck though, just that luck. Um, but yeah, usually I'll do them like once per week or. No, once every two, three days. That's why I did with Remy. But it's because Rodrigo is such a beast and pretty much scores two plus goals in every single game. Yeah, he's he's going to be, you know, <laughs> it's going to be once a week. And because I had mini break, it's actually around 10 days since I did the last episode. So sorry about that. I had a bit of a break from YouTube. Then I sort of came back when I was ill. So, yeah, it's quite ironic in the sense but Perez does get the goal back after being 1-0 down. To be honest, in all of these three games, and this is a three game episode, in this series there tends to be a lot of goals. In stuff like career mode, it tends to be a lot of maybe 2-1, 2-0, so I tend to do four to five games. And plus with this, you sign more people, there's more rotation. So you, I get to show the teams a little bit more perhaps. So, yeah, there tends to be less games in this episode as the time fills up more. Like, this is still an 11-minute episode, and oh my goodness! Now, the thing, the excuse I'll make there is currently, I'm now noticing that the Marlin isn't quite a good enough player. But to be honest, it's getting to the stage where I believe I've got a good starting 11 kind of thing. Obviously, my backup players like Hong Shrao, the Marlin, all of those kinds of players aren't the best per se, but honestly... I'm probably going to start building my other team now, but even so, I'm not sure if I'll have time to build the other team. Once I build it, it might just be rip and that's it, but Delafeu does a good skill move. He sort of does a really delayed slide challenge. He must have been really hesitant and just thought, oh, slide kind of thing. Thought about it late. Wanted to do it to begin with. So, yeah, he ended up taking me down, which made it a penalty kick. So yeah, overall this game has been quite tight, 2-1 down in the 60th minute, but Rodrigo does shoot in the middle, and even that save, it seemed like he went for the middle, then panicked, so I think he seemed a bit air at the moment. But yeah, that is goal number 81, he's back on track. With Rodrigo, I have scored a few penalties in this series, but not many, to be fair, he is the best penalty taker, but even so, but currently, it's, well, Suarez on the ball. I believe, I, well, he always gets through there, actually. That would have been quite unlucky. But Delafeu doing some nice one-touch play and, yeah, just running with it. He does a really bad slide tackle. Bad touch here, but if you're unsure, just tap it because the keeper might dive in and you just tap onto the goalkeeper. It's easy. It's a lemon squeezy. It's, well, three goals to two now. Yeah, three goals to two. So, yeah, the tap <coughs> or under the keeper finish it's always so effective because if there's no angle on, that's the best thing you can do. But first time fake shot and Delafeu, he's he's just great on the ball. He just runs away. He's got so much pace about him. I do the triple tap square thing to get it across the box. And Falcao ends up scoring an end goal. He did indeed bring Falcao on. He brought on like Falcao and Remy. All in centre midfield. He still had like Bale, Suarez and... um. Neymar up front, so I was sort of like, okay then, that just happened. But Ruben Pareto, still on our side surprisingly, on the ball, really good passing and actually can defend a little bit. Don't get me wrong, he isn't the greatest player in the world, but he's alright. But, ship of dreams, ship life for the win, goal number is free, and yeah, I believe ships are actually quite balanced in this game. Unfortunately, in the next gen version, Ships aren't balanced at all. It's like you can ship someone and they can't even be moving. Like that type of goal, that ship goal that I've done, that happens in next gen, I've only been able to do once. And that was actually in this series with Rodrigo. It was quite ridiculous, to be honest. But in one of the previous episodes, what I actually did was I sold one, well, I had to buy fitness cards for Rodrigo and a healing card. So what I did was transfer the coins back over. 
So I would be back at him out I was because the point of this series is to have Rodrigo play every single game. So for that to happen and not and for the side not to be affected, I did that. But we did indeed sign Caravajal and Isco. And that's what I mean by getting my starting 11 going. Those two I wanted to be in my starting 11, so I put them in my starting 11. I guess that's sort of the point. So, yeah, I'm going to be building the new team now. To be fair, he does a good tackle there. Um, I get a bit unlucky there. Well, quite unlucky, like... It just bounced straight to him, but it happens. And then, yeah, here I should have done better. But overall, when you review that, it was a nice finish by him. So give him the credit due. Uh, but the way we can improve is we don't let him cut in like that and don't let him take the shot. So it's our fault in a way. But however, we don't want to be too hard on ourselves. So we say in that moment in the game, we did tackle him. But at the end of the day, yeah. But even that, like, I... Missed the tackle, my fault, and then he does a pretty nice goal there. That goal, I can complain even less. Obviously, there's always things you can do, but honestly, he did score a nice goal there, so you've got to give the player credit. However, we are 2-0 down, which is not good, and it's a bit the same like the last game, and it's taking me a while to warm up and get used to how he attacks and all of that, so. But, it's go on the ball. Like, well, I thought I'd just run. I sort of cut inside and then wait for the round to see Vela is really, really good in the air, FYI. He's scored a lot of headers in this series so far. He's actually rather, rather good. He's a really good player. Like, he just out-muscles the full-back and just scores. So, cross it into Carlos Vela. He will score goals for you. And that's probably the thing that Vela gives over a lot of wingers for a cheap price, of course. He can actually score headed goals. Because he crossed it into Munyain. Let's be honest, he's not really going to score, is he? But Vela on the ball. He hurdles the defender, cross it in. Rodrigo, and he does indeed get the golasso to make it 84 goals. So, yeah, this is what I'm saying about Rodrigo scoring the goals too fast. At this sort of stage, Remy, I would probably be on around maybe 60 or something. Because I probably... Maybe I've played that amount of games. I don't know. I... Yeah, I probably would be around that amount, I guess. Probably, maybe even lower, perhaps. No, no, I reckon I'd be a around 50, 60. However, Rodrigo, I'm on that. And, oh my goodness, Kadira. Yeah, that that was Kadira. I'm, I'm not joking, that was Kadira. He's not disguised as Rodrigo with a right foot, don't worry. Kadira, what a finesse shot, what a goal. And to win any game... I think that was just fantastic. But yeah, Munyain, first time fake shot. That move is really, really effective. But crosses it in, volleys it in with Rodrigo. Solid, solid goal, I guess. Goal number 85. We are actually 15 away from 100. So, you put it that way, the series is actually coming to an end. And, to be honest, I don't think I'll be restarting this series either. I think this will be the last Road to 100 goals um, series. Because if I restarted it, I'd have to make it more regular. And I've still got um, co-op seasons to do with Ryan. I've still got Norwich career mode. Which I'm wanting to do another two. Um, at least another one and a half seasons. At least. So two and a half seasons I'm looking to do. I'm hoping to do. And then I've still got other plans to do. But I guess if worse comes to worse. Like I've got. I'm not even joking. I've got six or seven series. In my head that if a series went wrong. And this guy just was not changing kit. If you're the home team you do not have to change kit. And I was making sure this guy knew that. So I could have changed it. Started later. But I am just too stubborn. So yeah overall I sort of went along like that. But 4-2-2. On two on two. Good team. Good team. Jesse Rodriguez on the ball. Um, But yeah I... I've got six or seven series. I can do player predictions if I want to. I might end up bringing that back, to be honest, because it's getting towards that time. But again, Aguero is on the ball, running with it. And yeah, to be honest, I could have defended better. But what a challenge. And yeah, I was a little bit unlucky, I guess. But Benteke did score to make it um, one goal to nil. So... That was quite good. That was quite good, I guess. Very, very, very good. So, yeah. But Rodrigo on the ball. Does a, I tried a shot fake shot, to be honest. I tried something different. 
didn't quite work. Benteke on the ball. He pretty much runs with it. I give him too much space and he does a cutback, which somehow got to Aguero. Usually those don't really work. Usually you get the interception, but yeah, that sort of happened. And Aguero scored to make it two goals to nil, I want to say. I believe it's two goals to nil, or it might be two goals, goals to what? No, two goals to nil. So, again, we are putting ourselves in big trouble. But he didn't rush his goalkeeper. Like, always test that. Always put it, like, near the goalkeeper to see if he rushes it. Because at times, like, the goalkeeper will automatically rush and catch it. But you put it in zones where the keeper doesn't rush it, you might get a good header really close. Because that was in the six-yard box. That was always going in. However, if you identify they rush 24-7, then put it near the edge of the box and you've got almost an open goal. But Rodrigo on the ball, and here I actually try um, the new skill move, didn't work. Shoots with his right foot, scores with his right foot, and Rodrigo doesn't score many with his right foot in this series. I don't know why, he's a good player, and I guess his left foot is just so good he doesn't need to use his right. It actually goes through company's legs, so I was a bit lucky in that matter, but it was it looked like a pretty nice goal, to be fair. But Rafinha on the ball, gives it into De Feu, and what are you going to do with De La Feu? You're going to run with De La Feu, so, and then I believe I tried to strip, no, I don't try to triple tap, but it lands to Rodrigo, and there's going to be no other end result, it's that. Uh, yeah, but if you enjoyed the video, hit like and subscribe, because slow do throw on some more. We've got 10,000 coins now, so I'll begin investing that in a new squad, but overall, it's a wooden mark map here. See you guys!